Hello, everybody. This is a update that we anticipate doing on a regular basis to keep you informed of what we're doing in the Los Angeles City Fire Department. My name is Fire Chief Ralph Terrazas, and there's a lot of things going on. Uh, information is flowing uh, very fast. So here's what uh, we're doing now. Uh, first of all, we've canceled all leaves, so our firefighters uh, must stay uh, in close proximity to the department. Uh, that means vacations and, and overtime, bank time uh, is canceled until we get through this crisis. We've also accelerated the graduation of our current drill tower class to April 9th. That'll give us 50 more firefighters to the field. Another thing we're doing is we've accelerated the implementation of our telemedicine program, which will launch tomorrow, April 2nd. This will allow us to handle a lot of calls from people who are concerned about the coronavirus but really don't need to be transported to a hospital. In terms of situational awareness, per a recent uh, and ongoing University of Washington report, the anticipated peak of the pandemic reaching California will be approximately April 27th. You can check out this link for real-time projections from the University of Washington at COVID-19 health data.org forward slash projections. Let me say that again. It's covid19.healthdata.org forward slash projections. Yesterday, we implemented a program to accept volunteers from our retired ranks. If you're a retired LAFD sworn or civilian member and would like to volunteer to support the LAFD during this crisis, you can go to volunteer.lamayor.org. Org. That's volunteer.lamayor.org. In terms of member status, we've had a total of eight employees who have tested positive for the coronavirus. Seven of those employees are sworn and one is civilian. We have two members from those seven who have already returned to work. We've tested a total of 155 members so far. Some proactive measures we've taken to prevent the spread within our department include a new COVID-19 PPE protocol. PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. We implemented that three weeks ago and we created a video so there'd be no confusion. We've also directed that our members take temperature check checks twice a day at the fire station, once in the morning, once in the evening. Anybody above a temperature of 100.4 will be sent home. We've also mandated fire station cleaning of all touch points twice a day using a 10% bleach to water solution. In addition to that, we have priority testing for symptomatic firefighters and their at-risk family members. Speaking of testing, the fire department is staffing five test sites citywide. Yesterday, we tested 600, 1,600 people. You can register for the test by going to coronavirus.lacity.org. I know this is a lot of information, uh, like I said in the beginning, this is a, a very fluid um, situation. Uh, I intend on giving periodic updates to the public and uh, look forward for more of these. Thank you for your support and please stay home.